So I don't know if you're like us, but do you dream about getting out on the camping trip and you have these grandiose ideas of how it's going to be? Then we get out here and the wind roars into the campsite, the dust blows, the kids start whining, the dishes are piling up. And that's just day one. Day two, our backs start aching. I feel like grease is coming out of my pores from the food that I was eating just yesterday. Everything is starting to feel icky and chaotic. I think you guys see where I'm going here, right? I think you all know the answer, but it's something we try to avoid when we're camping. We're actually running away from the solution, and that is routine. We all need routine. So what I'm gonna do today is share with you probably eight to 10 tips on how we stay in routine and how that impacts our camping experience. When we eat camp food, we just feel really icky. And especially if you camp a lot like we do. So um, we just decided to just, why not make home food? And that way you feel like you're at home and you just feel better. It's your comfort food. Olive oil. Check. And... Hey, Rai Rai. So along the lines of cooking, one of the funnest things out here is making food from scratch, having this giant galley, and you know, doing meals that you would never expect to do when camping. But when you first start camping, I would kind of shy you away from that because you don't typically have as good of a system when you first start as you do at home. And so the easiest way around that when you first get started, I would suggest prepping at home. Cook your meals at home and then bring them here and just reheat them. And then obviously dishwashing can be stressful. I would suggest, as I usually do, check out in our description, I'll have our low water dishwashing solution. Not only does it save you a bunch of water, but it makes washing dishes like so much faster out here. So before I get into any more of these tips, let me premise with this. It's fun to get out camping and break routine. It's fun to let the kids stay up late, to eat the food you'd never allow anyone to eat at home to roll in the mud, to bark at the moon. But I also think it's great to have routines and I think you'll be amazed at what it does to your camping experience. So really this is about finding the balance. I'm not trying to take away all your fun, but I'm also trying to enhance your overall camping experience. So this is a really simple one, but we weren't doing it. And that is when we went down to Arizona, we noticed everybody was wearing shoes and socks. And we're talking 100 degree plus days. I have always been the one, and so is my family, to be around the campsite with my flip-flops, with my Tevas, with my Chacos. But what I find is when my feet are getting dirty out here, I'm feeling dirty. When I take my feet inside this trailer because it's just a bed, my entire bed is getting dirty. And what May does, before she goes to bed, she taught me this, it's a pretty good trick. So when I have my shoes off, I just get some water on my feet and I take the bottom of one foot and rub it on the top of the other. And the top of that other foot will actually wash off the bottom of your one. So that way you don't have to touch it with your hands and you can get in with everything kind of rubbed off. So one of you mentioned in the last video that I wasn't looking so good, you know, a little gaunt. And uh, you're absolutely right. With my high metabolism, uh, if I fall out of routine, my body goes down quick. And uh, as you guys know, we're doing the big transition right now to Thailand. And so I stopped doing my physical therapy on my shoulders, which always leads to more injuries, more issues. and and uh, then everything starts going. And so, you know, same thing out here camping. I find that it's kind of hard to keep a good routine, but it's really important, not only for your physical health, but I think it does something for the mental health out here. Getting out and doing the kayaking and doing the hiking and the biking and all that stuff. Yes, it's exercise, um, but I find there's something about this basic anaerobic exercise that 
you know, releases some sort of chemical endorphin or something into my brain that makes me feel not only instantly better, but better for the rest of the trip. I was hoping to beat these guys down to the beach just so I could have a little zen workout this morning, but obviously those days are few and far between for me lately. <laughs> Now they're requesting a boat. What is this, Club Med? I can't, I can't get a workout in. So I'm gonna sound like a salesman here. I was not paid for this. I'm just going to go through this really quick, 20 to 30 seconds, because I feel kind of guilty. They gave me the discount code, so I probably should show you what this is about. I find right out of the box, this thing is strong enough for a wimpy dude like me. I can do shoulder shrugs, I can do squats with it, things that need quite a bit of resistance. So 30 seconds why you might like this thing. It has handles, it has a bar you can use, it has a post landmine sleeve. So you can do back workouts with the post, you can do tricep workouts. It's got the ab rollers, the push-up handles, door anchors, leg kits. I mean, it has everything you need in one little package. I sound like a salesman here, but I just wanna rush through this. Uh, what I love about it is it has all these different mounting spots on here. This increases your resistance. It re increases your range of motion. And then it's got every style of workout possible and there's a book that goes with it that shows you. So this is shoulders and traps. Uh, shoulders and traps, chest, arms, core, back, glutes, quads, push-ups, core, I mean, it's got it all. So you might wanna look into it. There's another competing brand if you look out there. Um, again, to me, it just came down to price. So I mentioned this time and time again on this channel, but I think probably the number two reason why people have a bad camping experience is because of a lack of organization. And then number one is the packing and unpacking. And I think that goes hand in hand with it. So I will put in the description and a card up on this video of our video of how to stay organized in a small camper trailer like this. This next tip is about staying clean. So I mentioned earlier about keeping your feet clean, but this one's more about keeping your entire body clean. Finding a way to bathe yourself at camp is huge in terms of extending your time out. So whether that be a solar shower, a sponge bath, or an on-demand hot water heater, you're really gonna thank yourself for making that happen. So I've talked a bit about keeping yourself clean, but you're still outside and all of this is going to make its way into that. And so we suggest having an extra set of bedding and then also a way to wash it and hang it out on a line to dry. Because really this is going to take you from weekend camping to week long camping, just with that simple little change. Hey guys. So nature doesn't get that dirty. It's like organized chaos, right? but a campsite needs some cleaning. It gets pretty dusty and dirty during the week, right? Uh-huh. And then what do we do? Clean it. We clean it. So like once every two to three days, we just do a reset. Um, there's something about the feeling of a really clean campsite. We wipe down the galley, we clean up everything, tidy it up. I'm a bit type A, so I like things squared off as they're sitting. And that again, just gives me a few more days out here. Did you say you're gonna help me? Yeah. You want to throw this inside the teardrop? Okay, sure. Thank you. If you would open it, please. Oh, okay. So it's cleaning day here. It's in. Thank you, sir. And that doesn't mean we're just cleaning and organizing. It means we're looking for items that we're not actually using. I find when we do different styles of trips, different things go unused and it just messes up your system. So we put everything into a bucket. We'll drop that off at a central location and then we'll be a little bit more organized for our next boondocking site we find. Thanks bud, you wanna help me with the rest? Uh-huh. Okay. So this one is a big one and I learned this from all my travels overseas and I think people need a vacation from a vacation. Like even having fun like this can become routine and it can lose its magic. And so the easiest way for us is we plug in a DVD, hook it to the projector, throw it up in the teardrop or out here on a rock. And then when you come back from that movie, it's like you left this environment into another and all of a sudden camping is magical and neat again. And the same thing for us happens when we go to town. So we purposely have a smaller fridge because that ensures that we get to town every probably three to four days. 
And when we go to town, that also gives us some sort of reset. Here is the world's biggest blueberry. Hold on. Can you hold it in your palm oh so goodness. everybody can see? All right, so there's a normal blueberry. And, and this blueberry is pretty big still. Wow, that is a big blueberry. <laughs> Look at that. So I said this is cleaning day, but it's also wellness day for May. <laughs> Look at this crazy lady. Let me see if I can focus in on you. It's my peel off, off face mask, so it should peel off. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> If you want to be as beautiful as May, this is how you do it. This is the secret. <laughs> I do this because Ready. it feels amazing. It makes me feel clean and just makes me feel like I'm not out in the wilderness all dirty all the time. I think a lot of people think, you know, we're out here all the time and so we're icky and whatever. And we are, but we try to keep our routine similar to home. We try to keep ourselves... Hygienic? That's not even a word. Feeling clean? Feeling clean. Know. Feeling refreshed. Our family's really been blessed with the opportunities to get out here more often and stay out here longer. And I'm hoping some of these tips will help your family experience some of these benefits as well. I'm going to put a couple videos up here for you guys that are similar to this in terms of tips and tricks. But as usual, guys, stay safe out there when traveling, and we'll see you in the next episode. Oh, I can't stop the dancing. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, Dr.